Welcome to this video. Uh, this will be a short video that explains what keyloggers are and uh, you can stop it at any time if I go too fast. Uh, you can also get the printout at spikeop.com forward slash bonus. Now let's start. So what is a keylogger? In this video we're going to cover who uses keyloggers, hardware keyloggers, software keyloggers, countermeasures, and where you can purchase a keylogger. Who uses keyloggers? Well, spouses and family members, employers, private detectives, law enforcement, and parents watching children. Hardware keyloggers is where we'll start, and the advantages to having a hardware keylogger is that it begins to log the moment a computer is turned on, instead of waiting for the computer to boot up. Captures credit cards, chats, emails, and websites, literally everything you do on a computer. Uh, it's able to intersect log on passwords and uh, generally they are undetectable by security software products because they're a hardware product and they're external. Uh, also they work on all platforms Windows, Mac, Linux. Now what's the disadvantages to hardware keyloggers? Well they need to go through the logs of all the keystrokes which can be quite tedious uh, also the logs need to be manually retrieved uh, they're very easy to spot if you know what to look for and we'll show you a little bit later what one looks like and it really doesn't have a lot of features compared to software keyloggers but uh, you'll see as we move on alright to spotting a hardware keylogger Basically all you have to do is look at your keyboard and at the very end of your keyboard uh, where that circle is there is usually something about the size of a small battery that's between uh, where you plug your keyboard in at the back or it's even attached to the keyboard itself. That's the easy, easiest one to detect. Here's a blow up of just a singular uh, key logger that you can take with you and plug into the back of a keyboard and then plug it into a computer and uh, also they have them USB type which uh, is even more obvious now here's what it looks like uh, hooked up at the back of a computer uh, you can see where it gets plugged in where your keyboard normally does and about the size of it and what it looks like and of course varying colors uh, the only one that would be impossible to detect would be uh, one that is actually built right into your into a keyboard so be sure you use the manufacturer's keyboard or you purchase one right from a store yourself if someone switches out your keyboard or offers you a keyboard uh, you might be a little bit hesitant to use it okay now we're gonna look at software keyloggers and the advantages to them is they're invisible to the human eye they just sit in your uh, configuration of your computer they uh, they can be remotely installed uh, they also are very easily able to send all the captured data live anywhere at any time uh, they capture credit cards chats emails websites literally everything you do they can even activate uh, your PC camera and the audio so they can actually watch you <laughs> while you're watching your computer and uh, record everything going on in the room who you're talking to so um, that's basically uh, a quick overview of software keyloggers and the disadvantages of course I'm going to put a plug in here for our product SpyCop it can be detected by SpyCop and uh, there's uh, quite a few virus and uh, uh, malware softwares that will detect uh, a few of the differing spy softwares also depending on the quality of the spy software it may cause conflicts on your computer like freezing or moving very slowly uh, you know anything if your computer is starting to act up you might be a little bit uh, uh, you might wonder a little bit uh, spy software developer also has access to your PC they develop the software they can 
obviously access or see whatever it is that uh, their product does so they can access your computer. Uh, transmission of your data by the SPY software product can be intercepted by others on the internet as generally the transmissions are unencrypted uh, takes up a lot of bandwidth and time so spy software products don't tend to encrypt their transmissions uh, when they transmit their captured data and uh, they are admissible in some court systems as evidence and uh, a lot of private eyes use them uh, you know and uh, when uh, spouses are having problems and they end up going to divorce court I mean they will uh, definitely do everything they can do to leverage their employer whoever that is whatever side of the spousal contract that is but uh, here's some of the countermeasures you can do of course get a spy software detector uh, password protect your computer upon log on even when you're at home so that you're the only one who has access to your files uh, deny access to the room your computer is in I know that's kind of uh, pushing it a little but depends on how paranoid you are uh, every once in a while visually inspect where your keyboard is plugged in a lot of people don't bother they just go I mean I haven't looked at the back of mine for a long time either so uh, uh, don't use publicly available computers because a hard uh, um, a keylogger hardware uh, a lot of times you don't have access to the box so you can't even see if there is a hardware keylogger on it uh, also if uh, you you get one of those auto form fillers uh, a lot of times you know when your computer is new if you get an auto form filler and uh, fill in your your passwords and things like that initially then if somebody comes along and puts a piece of uh, whether it's a hardware or software keylogger on your computer uh, they won't be able to intercept the passwords that are already in your auto form filler so it's a it's a little way that you can protect yourself uh, avoid typing credit card numbers if you can order via phone that's fairly obvious now you might, w might wonder why spy cop who detects spy software uh, would offer to give a list of spy software vendors and keylogger vendors to purchase from uh, because it is a double-edged sword um, keeping an eye on your kids while they use the internet is I feel the responsibility of every parent because kids can get into a lot of trouble so that's a good use for spy software um, so rather than give you a list here on the video uh, you can get it at uh, www.spycop.com forward slash bonus. I'll have a, a list in there of legitimate vendors, and we know that these people are legitimate. Um, and that list, by having it on my servers, uh, can be downloaded and freshened up. I can always take some off if they get a bad name and put other ones on. So. And that's about it. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. I hope it helps you, uh, you know, keep safe and keep secure. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.